Hi everybody. So this video is going to be like kind of a quick-ish update video. I'm going to try not to look at the screen. I'm going to try to look at the lens. This is Katie, by the way. One of my newest additions. So updates on me. I, I think I told y'all this, but I'm going back to school and that's going really well. I, my major is auto body collision technology so I'm basically practicing to be an auto body technician which whenever I tell people that they're like oh my gosh that's so cool like not very many girls do that and all this other stuff so I actually got a job in a shop it's called referral collision and I have a channel on it there's nothing on there yet but there will be but yeah on that channel i'm going to be doing opening videos of tools and other things and reviews on things as well and then kind of more so probably not for me for a while but i'll be filming like behind the scenes of what different technicians are doing on different cars because they have um, their technicians permission to be filmed and I know they probably don't want their face in it which totally get I'm still not comfortable in front of the camera but here I am I'll probably still end up being behind the camera for the most part in a way it's almost like a dream come true because I've always kind of wanted to be like a car youtuber in a way like i wanted to do car reviews for a while i just didn't know how to like get started i'm excited to start this and this new journey in my life and i want to have you guys follow along with me if you want you don't have to i'm not making you but just wanted to let you know where i'm at I'm in my second semester of school and I have two more after this one so I'm not even halfway done which is fine. It's fun learning and I really do honestly truly 100% 110% love what I do. I would rather fix cars than sell them because I am not a persuasive person. If you ever meet me, I'm very shy until you get to know me and then all of the personality, all of my personality just hits you at once or over time. I just have to warm up to you. And I think that's pretty much how every shy person is. 2020. We're 19 days into the year. So far, it's been wonderful. I was glad to get out of 2019. The end there, I was in a dark place. Got out of toxic friendship that I was in. Wasn't a relationship, but it was definitely, at one point, it was definitely more than a friendship. But it was toxic, so. You gotta get out, sis. No, we don't tolerate tox toxic people in 2020. Just kick them out of your life, block them, do whatever. I don't care. Actually, I do care. I want the best for y'all. Block them, kick them to the curb, tell them to leave you alone. But my trust issues, y'all, got worse. Like, I, I don't know, once you have someone like that, they like break your trust so bad to the point where you almost don't want to trust anyone anymore, but you kind of have to, so you just kind of live with it, do the best you can every day, I don't know. 
I'm doing all right. It's still a very touchy subject to talk about, but yeah. I have a TikTok too. I might do some um, TikToks from work on there, but for right now it's just me being me. Um, yeah. It matches my personal Instagram, which is that girl Libby. Except my Instagram has an extra Y. I don't think my TikTok does, but I have to check. Let's look, y'all. Skip that ad, because we don't care. Oh, it is with two Ys. Cool. So it literally does match my Instagram. That's cool. But yeah. That's my TikTok. I have 19... Well, I don't know if it counts these private ones that I have, but I have like three of those. So 16 videos that you can actually see. I'll show you my Instagram too, in just in case y'all want to see that. It's the same thing. The FBI is watching. I'm just kidding. That's the... I don't know what that is actually. It's one of the sensors. This account's private so you have to like request to follow me. I still want to do stuff with this channel. Like I kind of was in my feels yesterday or last night and I was looking through old pictures on my Instagram and I was like wow really miss taking like pictures at the park or pictures oh my gosh there's so many you guys. I was just in it last night. Like, y'all remember any of these? This makes me miss having a 50 millimeter lens. That's what I used to use all the time indoor pictures not that good but like these ones what are you focusing on camera come on the baseball ones or softball oh, okay i was looking at some old videos and i missed doing photo shoot vlogs so i might try to do those more often whenever i can get around to doing photos it's harder right now because the sun goes down too early Cause sometimes I get home at like 5.30 and it's dark and from school. I get off at 5 but I get home at like 5.30. The sun sets literally at 5.03. So, can't really do that. So that's why I'm like waiting for it to not be depressing. And I can actually come home, take pictures. Like, I want the sun to set at, like, 7. 7 or later. So we have time to do stuff. Right now, this time of year, it's hard to do stuff. Because there ain't no... The lighting just isn't there most of the time. <laughs> I think that's it. So let me know if y'all want to see more um, photo shoot vlogs. I don't know because I looked at um, some of my older videos and like the opening videos don't have comments available like YouTube took away my comments on most of my videos which makes me mad but it's whatever that if that's the way YouTube wants to play then so be it still gonna make videos anyway so the I don't think I looked at all the photo shoot vlogs though just the I love Pokemon one and that one still had comments on it so I'm kind of hoping that it stays that way but knowing YouTube they'll end up taking them down anyways it's so messed up how they're just taking away all these children's channels and stuff and 
disabling the comments on everyone's videos and taking away their AdSense. Like, y'all don't realize that this was my full-time job at one point up until I got a real job because I felt like it just wasn't going to go anywhere at one point or in the future. It was just going to not be there, I guess. I don't know. Like, that's just what I felt. And now that it's actually happening, I'm glad I, one, got a job at Panera, two, decided to go back to school. Literally June 2019 is when I decided to go back. I graduated May 2014. If it takes you even longer after high school to decide what you want to do, that is okay. I'm 23, we'll be 24. I'm in school. I will graduate from this auto body program in 2021. I will be 25. I literally cannot wait. But just, if it takes you that long, who cares? Find something you love to do and pursue that. I promise you it's worth it. To go to work and just love going to work, waking up to go to work, doing what you do at work, leaving to go home happy because you accomplished what you wanted to in that day. I feel so inspirational right now. Yeah. So be patient with me on this channel. But I think that's all I have to say. Hopefully the comments don't get disabled on this video. But if they do, I'll just go to my doll Instagram, which I think is also down below, and leave a comment on my pictures or send me a DM or something. We'll figure this out. This comment thing, it's not gonna get in the way. YouTube, however, is just making it that much harder to live on this channel. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Today is Sunday, January 19th. I hope you have a great Sunday. And I will hopefully post something very soon. If it wasn't so dang cold out, I would go out and take pictures right now, but not trying to get frostbite. But yeah, I'll see you guys soon. I love you all so much. I'll see y'all soon. Bye.